And today I'm going to detail the multiple ways that berberine enhances the production of nitric oxide, the endogenous blood vessel relaxer and neurotransmitter that, like many endogenous processes, declines rapidly as we age, particularly after age 40. And this deficiency of nitric oxide is definitely one contributing factor to the accumulation of arterial plaque seen in atherosclerosis. And while berberine probably isn't something you think of in regards to nitric oxide quite as readily as herbs like beetroot, cayenne pepper, or arugula, this golden yellow alkaloid support for nitric oxide begins with berberine's powerful effects on our endothelium, or the interior lining of our blood vessels. Specifically, berberine enhances nitric oxide production first by increasing the activity of the metabolic enzyme endothelial nitric oxide synthase, which continuously synthesizes nitric oxide from the amino acid L-arginine in the endothelium. Berberine is well known for activating the metabolic master switch enzyme activated monophosphate protein kinase, or AMPK, and it's precisely berberine's activation of AMPK that drives this increase of endothelial nitric oxide synthase, because AMPK binds to and activates the metabolic master regulator PGC1-alpha, which itself promotes endothelial nitric oxide synthase expression and activity, while also, most critically of all, stimulating the growth and maintenance of new mitochondria, known as mitochondrial biogenesis. Essentially, as new mitochondria are formed, the capacity to generate nitric oxide also increases. Berberine is already well known for its amazing support of blood sugar and insulin sensitivity. So it's definitely worth noting here that nitric oxide also contributes to blood sugar regulation through improving glucose uptake and enhancing blood flow to tissues. Insulin, as part of its role as a growth hormone, actually stimulates nitric oxide production, increased nitric oxide bioavailability, and consequential vasodilation when produced normally, while insulin resistance, which is the distinguishing feature of type 2 diabetes, conversely promotes vasoconstriction and the loss of arterial flexibility and elasticity, all stemming from endothelial dysfunction and greatly impaired nitric oxide production. Yet another way that berberine enhances the performance of nitric oxide is through berberine's preservation of yet another endothelial nitric oxide synthase activator, acetylcholine, the essential neurotransmitter critical for learning, cognition, memory, and even muscle contraction that also heavily influences blood sugar regulation through its stimulation of insulin release from pancreatic beta cells, thus promoting glucose homeostasis. And berberine accomplishes this by disabling acetylcholine esterase, the primary metabolic enzyme responsible for acetylcholine's degradation and a defining feature of both Alzheimer's and type 2 diabetes. And just as acetylcholine activates endothelial nitric oxide synthase, the resulting nitric oxide supports the release of acetylcholine through vasodilation and the consequential release of acetylcholine in various tissues, particularly the nervous system. One potential problem with nitric oxide is that it can oxidize very easily, leading to the accumulation of peroxynitrite, a superoxidant that can damage lipids, proteins, and DNA. This is why it's best to get your nitric oxide from antioxidant-rich food sources like beetroot, but this is also another area where a regular intake of berberine is helpful because berberine's own antioxidant properties and support for endogenous antioxidants like superoxide dismutase and catalase can easily neutralize peroxynitrate. A common daily dose of berberine that you're likely to find is around 500 milligrams, and you could take it as often as three times each day, but as berberine is an herbal compound, remember to take a short break from it, as in five days on, two days off, to maintain its effectiveness. Berberine is notoriously difficult to absorb on its own, and one primary reason for that is its conflict with the permeability glycoprotein, which actively transports drugs and other compounds out of the body. So taking your berberine with a natural permeability glycoprotein inhibitor, like the bioflavonoid quercetin, would thus increase berberine's uptake and retention significantly. The bioflavonoid naringin is also a potent permeability glycoprotein inhibitor, but for the purposes of optimizing nitric oxide support, quercetin is the better choice. Because while naringin unfortunately inhibits nitric oxide production, quercetin does just the opposite.
Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.